What's up guys, another video for you guys. Uh, this video is gonna be on how to install an intake. It's the JBR intake that I got for my Mazda Speed 3. Gonna be showing you guys what I got and how to put it on. Let's go. All right, before I install the intake, I wanna see, this is my cup access port. I have it on the mass airflow. I wanna see if it's will read like a little bit more air once I put this on. So I'm just doing a little, little comparison but it, without, it, without it and when I put it in. So it's at, it's at two right now, 2.8, maybe five. This goes up and down, but let me see. probably won't make a difference but I don't know I'm still learning about all the speeds but that's what it is for right now and let's get this intake on so this is the full intake I got the rolling lit this is JBR right here I got the other piece with the, uh, the I forgot what these called but I can't remember uh, it'll come back to me but I got I got the whole kit and yes, it is used, but I got a good deal on it, so I couldn't pass it up, so I ended up getting it. Uh, it didn't come with a filter, so I went to go buy and k and filter for it. Got a k and filter for it, fits perfect on it. I tried it when I went over there. So this is the whole setup I'm gonna use. Now let's put this bad boy on. Okay, first step you want to do is you want to take the, the connectors off the battery, take the battery off the uh, tray out too. I'm not going to record me doing it because I have a bunch of videos on my channel of me taking the battery out. So I'm going to just skip through. I'm going to do it and come back to you guys when I take it out. And uh, you want to take this off too. Uh, these are two, uh, two tans right here, right here. But um, yeah, yeah, and don't mind the corrosion on the battery and we get a new battery and I'm going to be getting a court sport uh, box so I have that cover to cover that up because when I got the car it didn't come with the cover it came just how it came like this but I'll be getting that uh, new battery and so new battery new tray for court sport and yeah so, so let's get to it so you guys I'll come back to you guys when this battery out and the tray is out this is off Okay guys, I'm back. All right, I took the battery box and battery out and I took the little cover off for the intercooler. Okay, what you wanna do next is there's two, I already took them off, but take for this, for the take this, you know, loosen this bracket. It's gonna be two tens right here. One, two, loosen those, take that off. I just, I like to put the bolts back on it, you know, so I won't lose them, but take those off and this will come off right here. Next step is, so you wanna loosen this, this, you want to take this off for you so you can take the air box off. Let's do that right now. And two, you want to plug your your uh, math sensor. I already unplugged it, but you want to unplug that too. Okay, there's a 10 right here. You want to loosen this right here. And uh, the JBR doesn't need it, uh, but some intakes, you you have to use your stock uh, grommet to put, it, put the, in, the new intake on. The JBR doesn't have it, but you put this up just in case you get a different intake or or you know it could be a cob or court sport whatever one if you want to the court i know the court sport ones they have you need your stock one of the garment right here so you know don't lose that okay but you want to loosen that let's get to it right here 
All right, you wanna get some pliers. You wanna take this off, and this one off. I have bigger ones, but I don't know where it's at, so it's kind of hard to grab it. This piece is off. And this piece was going on to the JBR piece. Um, I went on the, the JBR website. Um, it looks like you can buy you know, JBR ones like this. So I'm gonna order, I'm gonna order one of those so it kind of match the whole kit. But, I think uh, you're gonna be, be reusing this, this to the side. Right, next step, just take this off here. Well, there's the boost solenoid right here. Let's see, let's see. Right here, there's a little clamp on it. You wanna take that clamp off and be careful with that because you break it. Pots up, and there's a uh, plug. See that? Can't, mm, see it's blue? This, this is this. It's this right here. It's like the, it looks like this. You want to take that off? Okay, guys, I got it off. This part right here. This part was a freaking ass to get off. This right here, because the way how it is in the back. This was, uh, I had to take it off from here, here, so I can just slide it out, take it fully, take it off. But that, that was an ass. And it was easy for me. This was loose already, so the previous owner had, uh, had it. Um, must have turned down the ass on that bed. I guarantee, because I have a check in light for too lean. And I guarantee that's the reason why it was too lean because this was loose and it was just it was open. So that, all right, let's put the let's put that bad boy on. Oh, apparently, I guess because you know, of course, this thing right goes right here. It don't it's, it's, it won't fit because you no, know, it, it it's not this no more on the JBR. It's not that on there. So I, I guess the guy I got it from he told me. When you get those, JPR, you have to run a hose from this. From there to there. So I guess I had to go get a hose or something that would reach over there for now. But let's put everything on. Let's get it on. Okay. When you put this on, you want to have the, the clamp facing this way so you can you know look down and just put it on because you can't see it if you do it the other way so you want to put the clamp facing like this so you can have it facing up you can look down and put this get a socket down there but let's put it on all right guys i have it on see this is what it looks like put it on and i put the little you know the little hose you the boot for a boost solenoid put that back on and I have the, let's see, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. You can't see it, let's see, focus. But the clamp for the turbo inlet, um, I left that loose so I can, you know, see, so I can move it up and down and so I can adjust to where I want it at. So let's put the, the other piece on. Use this side, use this. Like I said, I'm gonna reuse this, but I won't get the JBR one. But you just slide it on. That. The other side. My pliers. Put it back. This, let me put this on next. 
There's the K&N filter. Uh, if you loosen it, take the screws out. You slowly want to be careful and lift it out. Lift it out. It's just such a mattress right here. Let's see the Allen headed ones. Let me show you guys. These right here. Let's put it in. How you do your stock. Nuts on there. And your, you know, plug, of course, your plug is right here. You just plug like, plug it like that. But let me get my um, Allen wrench and I'll be get back. All right, I have it on. This is what it looks like. I have everything tight. You know, make sure you guys check everything is tight. You know, the mask. I had Allen wrench. It's good. Let me take the plug. Put that on. You're good. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the battery and everything back on. And remember, for the JBR. I'm guessing you have to buy a hose that goes from here back to here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the battery and stuff back on, then I'm gonna go to the store, AutoZone, I'm gonna get a hose. I said, I wanna see if they have something like this, a clip, a long one, but a clip, so I can just snaps on, cause I don't wanna just put a hose on there, but if not, then I have to get the hose. But I'm gonna put the battery back on, the tray and stuff back on, and I'll get back to you guys. Let's go. All right, guys, I am done. I put the intake on. I said to go get the hose for it to, so it goes across in there. I don't want to start it and drive like that. So I'm going to go get the hose, and, uh, but here's put the intake on. All right, guys, I'm back. It's kind of dark, it's getting dark, but I got it. What I did was, I got this hose right here. I got a hose to put it from right here all the way to, uh, let me see if I can turn the flash on. I can't, you guys can't see, but to that, no, it's, little, it's right here. Can't see it, but it's right here, but I put it towards there. There's no kink, I don't see no kink on it. I'm gonna still check it out. I want to get like a 90, find like uh, kind of like something like this. But I know there's some that goes like goes like it will make it go towards there. But, but it works though. That's what it is. This is the whole set right here. Still the same. Check the lights on because oh, I had to check engine light on for said uh, system two lane or uh, oh, system two lane <laughs> system two lean and bank one. And uh, I found out why the um, the uh, outlet turbo outlet. When I was taking it off, it was loose already. Cause I didn't, I didn't loosen it nothing. I just pulled the whole outlet off. Cause it was, it was just bobbing there. So I'm guessing uh, some of some air was sucking in from right there. So that's what caused my check engine light to come on. So I'm happy about that. Cause I did not want to replace the old two cylinder from the top. Cause that's like three hundred seven dollars for the Mazda speeds. Um, do a little wrap up. Well, guys, that was the sound of the JBR in full intake. Well, that's how you guys install it, and uh, again. If, if you guys wanna get that the JBR intake, the full one, you wanna buy a whole a long hose that will go from the front to the back. So yeah, you can connect those back to where it was. Uh, well, and I got some more parts coming from you guys. 
so stay tuned. I got some more parts. I got a few of them coming. And some ramps is coming too, so you guys will like that. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Jerry. You're watching Where's Garage. See you later.